This is Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. Consider this your vitamin or supplement for your mind and your heart. In whatever format you listen to podcasts, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom? And if you'd leave a rating and a brief written review, it would be very helpful And it would make it easier for folks to be able to find this podcast who aren't currently aware of it. Today's subject is fear. All of us are afraid of something. And if you have a vision, if you're seeking to lead anything, whether it's leading at home, leading at school, leading where you work, leading in your church, leading in your volunteer organization, your club, service club, makes no difference where. Once you begin to make some decision, there's always a voice telling you, you can't do that, you shouldn't do that. I think where the fear comes in for a lot of leaders is we we work through the process of coming up with a vision. We might even take that second step and begin to have a strategy, a plan for how to implement and how to see all of this through to fruition. And so it's, it's sort of... Um, a little simpler because it's done somewhat in quiet and solitude, or at least with a group where we feel safe coming up with a vision and a mission. But that's just part of it. We still have to get stuff done, and that's a whole nother matter. Because as you decide to implement things and to make moves ahead, There are going to be people who doubt you, people who question you, people who will say, well, who do you think you are? And so one of the things that happens when we uh, become fearful and we think, I'm not sure I can do this, many of us have this mistaken idea that there is someone who is coming, some knight, someone who's going to ride in on their horse and save the day, and they're going to help me work my way through this challenge and this problem, and I have some bad news for you today. No one is coming. No one is going to ride in over the hill and save you and do your job and implement your plan for you. That is your responsibility as well as any others you recruit to take with you and to help you and assist you. Really what it comes down to is this little voice, and I've never met a person who hasn't experienced the little voice. It goes by lots of names, but at the heart of it and behind it all is this one word, fear. And if nothing else today, could you just learn to recognize when that little nagging voice tells you, you can't do that, oh, stop it. This is going to blow up. This is going to end in a disaster. Would you recognize it for what it is? It is the voice of fear. There is a paralyzing aspect to fear. I I have already shared in a previous podcast, there was a time I was a young man and I was given a fairly important assignment. It was a writing assignment and I really wanted the assignment. Then when I received the assignment, I began to think, who am I to write this? I don't have the proper credentials. People will laugh at it. It will never measure up. It will never accomplish its purpose to the point that I was paralyzed into inactivity in which the leader of that project finally came along and said, I'm going to have to take that. I'm going to give it to this person Thanks for being willing to try, and the truth was I hadn't even tried because I allowed fear to overwhelm me and paralyze me. Maybe you've seen in the movies when a tiger is in the jungle and it's ready to chase a a victim. It lets out that large roar. And rather, it's always interesting, rather than running, oftentimes people are paralyzed and they stand still and just allow the tiger uh, to attack them. It may be not only because of the loud sound gives them fear, but it's so loud that it almost shakes their body. They can almost feel 
Well, if you're a fearful person or you're going through something that you're a little uncertain about today, you don't need me to tell you what fear feels like. When fear gets a grip of your heart, we begin listening to that little voice. It will literally paralyze us into inaction. So here's what I want to talk about for just a moment. Here are some of the things the little voice says. You have the vision, you have the mission, or like me several years ago, now it's been probably 25 years ago when someone handed me an assignment, uh, the little voice say, says, you don't have enough time to do this. You can barely make it with what you have on your plate now. You don't have enough time. If you ever hear the little fearful voice say to you, you don't have enough time, remind yourself that time is one area where everyone on planet Earth is exactly equal. We all have the same allotment of 24 hours a day, 14, 40 minutes a day. You have the amount of time. It's how are we going to use your time. And if it's something you believe in or it's something they're counting on you at work to get done, then you will have enough time to do it. There may be a time when that little voice says to you, who do you think you are? You don't have enough money to make this happen. You'll never be able to retire comfortably. You'll never be able to keep up. You'll never be able to accomplish this. Do you notice how often the little voice of fear is always a voice of lack and scarcity? You don't have enough time. You don't have enough money. You will have enough of whatever you need if you work it and you make a plan and you take incremental baby steps to accomplish what it is you're attempting to accomplish. Just remember for what it is. It's not God speaking to you. It's your fear speaking to you to tell you you lack. If you really believe in what you're doing and it's really your dream, you will find a way if you just press through it. The, the next thing that you may hear that little voice of fear whispering in your ear is, if I do this, if I implement this change, if I see this process through, People won't like me. One of the more paralyzing things for most people, including myself, especially when I was younger, is I wondered what people thought of me. I wanted people to like me. And if I do this, if I make this decision, uh, what will people think? And there'll be people who won't like it. Let, let me help you here a couple of ways and this is from the School of Hard Knocks, the University of Hard Knocks. Quit fearing what people think. I have discovered that most people don't think, and the few people in life that you meet who do think are not thinking about me and you. We want to be liked by others, but if you're going to be in a position where you have to make decisions, you cannot lead by any other way than by principle. If you lead by principle, everyone will not be happy, but it will keep you closer to doing the right thing. If you believe this is what you're supposed to do, and you believe this is what your life is all about, push aside the fear that people won't like you. I wonder what people are thinking. I wonder what they say. It doesn't matter what environment you work in. There's nothing you can do to keep people from talking about you. And I would rather have them talking about me because I was attempting to accomplish something than to talk about me. You know, he just sits around and he never does anything or she never does anything. People are going to criticize and talk about you. Give them something really juicy and meaty to criticize you about. Oftentimes, that little voice of fear will say in your ear, if you do this, if you go this direction, people will not like this idea. People don't like this idea. I, I can't imagine any idea in this world that initially there wasn't resistance from people. If you went out on the streets and gave away free popsicles, there'd be somebody that would say, what are you trying to do? Help us to rot out our teeth? 
Everyone has an idea of what can't be done and what shouldn't be done. You're not the first person who's encountered someone who doesn't like your idea. If you believe it's your plan and you have a good plan, push past that little fearful voice. Oftentimes, I hear the little voice say to me, you don't have enough. Ron, you don't have enough skill. You've never tried that before. I mean, I can take that into lots of areas. When I first started writing my blog, who, who do you think you are? You're not a writer. You don't. You, you can barely string English sentences together. Who told you you could be a writer? Who told you you could be a podcast? You don't have any connections. You don't have any skill. You, you don't have the ability to do that. You don't have the talent for that. You don't have enough. You don't have enough insight. What in the world, after one or two episodes, would you ever have to say to anyone? And this little voice will just continually say to you, you don't have enough of that. You don't have enough talent. You don't have enough skill. You don't have enough uh, insight. Just give it up. And there's oftentimes that I also hear the, the little voice, and I know the little voice comes to a lot of people to say, you'll never be able to p- pull this off. You'll never be able to accomplish this. You don't know the right people. And again, I want to end this like I started. If you're waiting for somebody to ride in on a horse over the hill to save your day and to help you, that's not going to happen. You don't need to know the right people. There was no one in my family that had been a leader in any way, shape, or form. The vast majority never made it through high school, never even thought about going to college, never thought about being an entrepreneur, never, it just didn't happen. It doesn't matter who you're related to, where you come from, or who you know. Do you have a dream? Do you have a vision? Do you have a plan, in my context, a God-given plan? Then work it. But if you're going to accomplish anything in life, listen to me, my friends. You are going to have to push past the paralyzing little voice of fear that will tell you you don't have enough. I want to leave you with this. Whatever it is you've been asked to do and whatever it is you need to do, I'm here to tell you, you have more than enough time, talent, ability, opportunity to make it happen. You can do it. Your family's counting on you. Your business is counting on you. The world is counting on you. God is counting on you. Today, face your fear and push through it. I know there are all kinds of stories that people say what to do when fear comes. I don't care who you are. Fear is going to come. You have to face it. Stop listening to that voice and push through. Face your fear and move ahead today, my friend. This is Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, and productivity. I hope today this has been like a vitamin or supplement for your mind, your heart, and your soul. Again, wherever you listen to podcasts, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom and pass the word along to your friends. And if you'd leave a rating and a brief written review, it would be very, very helpful. This is Dr. Ron saying, recognize the little voice, ignore it, move ahead, and you'll be amazed at what you're able to accomplish. Until next time, my friend, you're doing a better job than you think you are. Have a great and blessed day.